It really bothers me that in this day and age, we still have people, young and old across a few different generations, who like to badmouth people who play video games, claiming that they're not a mature pastime, that they're meant almost exclusively for children. According to those detractors, grown men and women need to grow up and leave such pursuits behind, focusing instead on things like careers and families, forming lasting relationships and pursuing loftier, more socially acceptable goals. But here's the thing. While it's true that focusing on something to the point of the exclusion of things like healthy relationships and fulfilling lifestyles is problematic and should certainly be avoided, in my personal experience, most of the grown-up gamers that I know don't fall into that camp. They're men and women with jobs, friends, families, goals, and ideals. They just like venturing out and stabbing virtual dragons in the face every once in a while. I think there's still a real problem with stigmas attached to gaming as a whole. Too many don't appreciate the medium for what it represents, what it's truly capable of and think the hobby is little more than a vacuous bolt hole for social malcontents to dive into when the real world gets to be too much. But the truth of the matter is, gaming enables us to experience fantasies that we might otherwise never get the chance to. To topple armies, to solve mysteries, to win the love of a great queen, or fell a terrible beast, to survive against all odds and horrifying conditions emerging from the crucible, stronger and more powerful. To right wrongs, to punish evil, to make the world a better place. Yeah, sure, video games can be violent and hypersexualized. There's no denying that. But they're meant to be. They're meant to be a way for us to indulge in our flights of whimsy and wonder while doing no harm to ourselves or to others to take on the role of someone or something which matters in a world that oftentimes seems particularly designed to sabotage our individuality, our spirits, and our purpose. Coming home from a long day at work or school, feeling the pressure of things like a job or a family, and all the horrible insecurities and frailties that are just inherent in being a human being, those are tough. Those are grating because those are forever. And I guess that's my whole point. Real life is forever, in all its punishing muck and rich splendor both. It's a whole lot to deal with, so if every once in a while you'd rather flop down on the couch or in front of the computer and blow up some aliens, topple a dictatorship, or just solve a few puzzles, I think you've earned that right. And I don't think you owe anyone an apology for it. We all have dragons to slay. This has been Valiant Shadow, musing for you while fueled by copious amounts of caffeine and hunched over at my desk in a truly uncomfortable fashion. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to really help me out, please share this video with anyone you think might appreciate it. And above all else, keep having fun.